Welcome to part three, Colour My World. Let's learn about colours today. To get started, you can download this exercise sheet, which is available at airbrushtutor.com, or you can click on the link in the description. Let's learn about colours. Gee whiz, where to start? So we've got three primary colours. We've got yellow, we've got red, and we've got blue. And then we've got two types of paints aren't considered really colours. We've got black and white. And according to Michael Jackson, now even though we've got the three primary colours, you can actually get two different variations of each colour primary. So for example, with our yellow here, a warm yellow will have more red pigment in it, and a cool yellow will have more blue pigment in it. In it. Now in airbrushing, you'll also come across two different types of paints. Transparent paints, or opaque paints. Opaque paints are pigment based. They generally should offer better coverage, but are thicker paints. Whereas a transparent is manufactured more so with dyes and less pigment, and should only change the color or add to the color. We generally use opaque as a base and transparent to change or shift colors. Is it making sense so far? Or? Now from these three primary colors, our yellow, red, and blue, if we mix two individual colors together, we get what's called a secondary color. Isn't that clever? Red and blue gives you violet, yellow and red gives you orange, and mixing blue and yellow gives you green. And we're using transparents today. Now when you download this template, it actually has the instructions written on it. So let's get started. Now I'm being instructed to put a little bit of blue paint into that yellow to mix a green. I'm just going to go ahead and spray this green up here exactly where it says to spray it. Yeah, that's enough with the green. Let's put blue into our airbrush. A bit of transparent red into that blue color. Follow the instructions. Take a trip to examine this common basis of life for voyage to investigate the molecular machinery. Go ahead and change the color in your airbrush to straight red. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of yellow into that red color to make a nice Sunburnt orange. Great! I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of black into my airbrush and just darken up this center section. Let's go ahead and put white into our airbrush. Now at a slight angle, just going to lightly blend around these areas inwards. Oh great, I hear you say. Thanks for teaching me nothing with your stupid color wheel. But here's the Mr. Miyagi factor. The next time you're doing an artwork and you find yourself wondering, huh, how do I mix skin tone? Consult your color wheel. I'll just move it along the color wheel and bang, there it is exactly. Skin tone needs to be yellow, a couple of parts red, and a lot of parts white. Oh, thanks, I hear you say. It's my absolute pleasure. I'm just glad you're here watching me make an idiot of myself. So stay tuned because there's a lot more to learn with color. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to blend skin tones correctly. Thanks for watching. And thanks for spreading the love.